Hey, I'm Tommy from Real Street Performance, and before you buy those standard bore size set of pistons, there's a few things you need to know first about piston bore size. There's three main reasons why an engine block is bored oversized. First is to remove irregularities from the surface finish of the cylinder wall. Next is to set an appropriate and specific piston to wall clearance for your application. And third is to increase displacement. Let's talk a little bit more about displacement. Most engine blocks start to become structurally compromised if you bore the cylinder walls more than 40 thousandths of an inch. To see a noticeable increase in displacement, you'd actually want to bore 120 to 160 thousandths of an inch, or about 3 to 4 millimeters over. At that point, most engine blocks will require aftermarket sleeves. So when we're talking about boring 20 to 40 thou over, the increase in displacement is negligible. Let's look at cylinder wall finish. There are many reasons why the cylinder wall finish will become less than perfect over time. Often we see the cylinder wall start to become out of round or turn slightly egg-shaped. When this happens, the rings aren't able to seal the compression in and the engine starts to consume oil. At this point, boring 20 to 40 thou over, in many cases, is able to bring the cylinder wall back to a perfect circle. We've also seen engine failure lead to cylinder wall imperfections. We've noticed scratches, gouges, scrapes, and other imperfections that can be cleaned up by boring 20 to 40 thousandths of an inch over. The idea is to have a nice, true, and clean surface to drop our brand new pistons in for a tight ring seal. A lot of times you hear the term piston to wall clearance. This is the thickness of the space between the piston and the cylinder wall it sits in. It's critical that you get this measurement correct. Too tight and the piston can actually seize in place. Too loose and you'll lose power and compression via blow-by. So how do you know what to set it at? Check with the manufacturer's spec sheet and also check with your builder. Another thing to note is make sure you pay attention to where you're measuring the piston. The piston size varies from top to bottom. So when building your engine, the machinist should ask you some questions about what the engine is going to be used for so he can determine how tight to set the piston to wall clearance so that there isn't any complications. Knowing that engines wear over time, we can assume that not all engines wear the same. Some factors that contribute to this are the quality of the tune, the type of fuel being used, the quality of oil, the frequency of oil changes, how much power the engine has been making, and how much abuse it has it seen. If you and your friend are both building two JZs and you start with a fresh block from the dealer and he has a block from his car that has 150,000 miles, you both drop in standard bore size pistons, you can assume that the piston and wall clearance is going to be different in each application. However, while both will work, neither one may be what's right for you. Even if your cylinder walls are in good shape, it's also recommended to bore at least one size over. This will allow the machine shop to set the appropriate amount of piston and wall clearance. They don't just bore 20 thousandths of an inch over and then drop the pistons in. The cylinder in the bore is matched to a piston in the box. So keep this in mind when scheduling your build. There are a lot of benefits to going overbore, but you might be asking yourself, how far overbore should I go? At Real Street Performance, we recommend going the least that you have to. The machine shop will tell you what you need to know, and a typical conversation will sound like the bore will clean up at 20 thou over. So as we know, most engines can handle 40 thousandths of an inch overbore. So that leaves you with another 20 thou in the future just in case you need to rebuild. This is great because it saves you from having to resleeve the block or actually uh, tossing or discarding the block and having to purchase a new one. So just don't assume that your engine will require standard bore size pistons, especially if you're just trying to save a couple hundred bucks from getting a bore job at the machine shop. Even if your engine has low miles, do it right the first time. Take it to the machine shop, get it measured, and let them tell you what bore size that you need. There's nothing more frustrating than having your engine at the builders or at the shop and having to do an exchange on the pistons because you have the wrong size. Hopefully this knowledge will help you on your engine build. Our goal here at Real Street Performance is to get you the correct parts quickly and at a great price while saving you headaches throughout your build. Click on the subscribe button for more informational videos.